Wouldn't it be nice to add locally running AI to your appliances and control them with just your voice without needing any internet connection? Switch off. <clears throat> Switch on. Let's build this today. Oh, we have a delivery. Let's see what this could be. It's the new Coral DevPort Mini. Let's unbox this one. The DevPort Mini is a single port computer for prototyping locally running AI and ML. It's a lot smaller than the Coral DevPort and only a little bit bigger than the Coral USB accelerator. But where the USB accelerator needs a host computer, the Mini is a fully featured board running Mendel OS, which is a derivative of Debian Linux. The board has a quad-core ARM CPU, 2 GB of RAM, Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5. There's a 3.5 mm headphone and mic combo jack, a speaker output terminal, camera and display connectors, a micro HDMI port and two USB-C ports, both of which can be used to power the board. And then of course we have the HTPU machine learning accelerator, which runs at 4 trillion operations per second, executing for example the MobileNet V2 model at almost 400 frames per second. And the board has a built-in microphone, so we can use this microphone to record our voice and run a voice classification machine learning model to detect what we are saying and then control other appliances. But how would such an Edge AI architecture look like? Well, we wish to say some key phrases such as switch on to control our home appliances. Our voice is recorded by the onboard microphone. Then we pass the recording to the Edge TPU, which runs a key phrase classification machine learning model. We get the detected key phrases and execute actions based on those. The action can be to send an API call to our equipment. In this scenario, I'm using a light and a smart power switch both of which have a control API. OK, let's build this. First, we need to power on the board. And then we connect to the board using MDT shell. And the first thing we could do is to download the Google Coral example project for detecting audio key phrases. So what I can do is git clone the repository here. And let's take a look at that. The pre-trained model can recognize around 140 key phrases. So what we can do is we can go to the list and pick and choose keywords that we need. For example, we want to switch on and switch off the lights. And the key light also supports turning up and down the brightness, so we can use those keywords. And the default brightness for my key light is actually 11%. So why don't we use the key phrase position 11 to go back to that default brightness. We can test the keyword inference with this example application. It will record your voice, pass it through the Edge TPU, running the pre-trained model. Let's try with the keywords we selected. Position 11, switch on, switch off. OK, that works. Now we need a way to control our lights programmatically. Let's start with the Elgato key light. There's a Python module called leglight, so this should work for us. Let's first install it with pip. All right, and now let's try it. Import leglight. And then we make a leglight object and we execute elgato.off. All right, <laughs> that worked. Let's switch it back on. Then for my lights in the background, I need to use a mechanical power switch. So let's try using this smart switch, which has Wi-Fi and a Python client as well. So let's now try sending a Python call to the switch and my Edison lamp is connected to that. All right, that works. And let's switch it off. Great. So we can control the lights with API calls and we can detect our keywords. Now let's bring these two together. To do that, 
I've extended the coral example and implemented a callback function. It's a very simple callback function. It will simply execute an operating system command based on the command that we received. And the mapping between the keywords and the shell commands to execute are in a config file. So you don't need to change your code. You can simply configure here what command you want to execute based on the keyword that was detected. So let's try this by executing this script manually first. So we execute the light control script and we tell it to increase the brightness. Okay, that seems to work. <laughs> let's bring it back down to the default brightness. And now it's time for the big test. Can we use our voice to control our appliances in the house? So let's start this app on the Coral DevPort Mini and say our keywords. Switch off, switch on, turn up, turn down, position 11. All right. Well, that's all for this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed this first look at the Google Coral DevPort Mini. Switch off. <laughs>